Now, help a girl out. Come on, please. You love me and you know it. Just help a girl out. I love you, yes, but just... This just seems boring. <laughs> your typical coffee loving book addict and today we are doing a book tag. So this book tag ever is going to help me with this is the reread, rewrite, or burn tag. He has 100% access to my Goodreads now and he's going all the way back to 2018 where he is going to direct me on this bookshelf and he's gonna pick three books. We're gonna do five rounds and I am really scared right now because I don't even know what he's going to pick. So let's jump in. Edward, would you pick three books for me and guide me to them and I will close my eyes so I don't know what they are? Because I have no idea what, what order these books are. I have no are. idea where they are on that shelf either. That's why you have to look, my dear. I am looking and I'm not seeing a lot of them. Okay. Well, I can get you to the first one. Okay. Eyes are closed. Turn around. You're gonna go second shelf from the top. The top. Okay. Second from the top. Okay. All right. Put your finger straight in. Now take your left hand and move it over. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Two. Okay. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Seven. Yep. Okay. I need that second book. Um. Remember, five rounds, three books per round. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm getting there. Um. You guys know, my eyes are still closed. I have no idea what this book is. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Except your left. Alright, find Poppy. Find Princess Poppy. Oh, sorry, Poppy, I'm not doing her. Nope, we got this. Okay, three to the right. One, two, two. three. No, no, three. Okay. Three, that's only two. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Well, okay. One more. Um. Uh, see, I don't know your your organization method here. Well, up top, I know I have mostly like some of my books that I've read, but they're not some of my favorites. This shelf, I think, was kind of like an idea of like some of my all-time favorite books. This is mostly fantasy type books, and then this one was kind of like just some randoms. <laughs> you also do know I have read some books on this shelf that they're not actually on my Goodreads too. So I bet you right. Okay, I'm gonna this. What year are you in? Forget I know. It just says red. Okay, that's not like 2018. It just says red. It just says red, like what you've read. Okay, so is that this year? I don't know, dude. What color is the Goodreads challenge? Is it green? It just says. It just says red. Is that the name of the book? No, it, it just says books you've read. Let me see for a second. I feel like you're in the wrong spot. I'm not. Hang on. Okay. I got. I, I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, find Poppy again. Hey, Poppy. Is she backwards? No, she's no, forward. Okay. Go three to the left. Uh, right, three to the right. I didn't realize you had two of these books like, right next to each other. One, two, three. Yep. All right. First reaction that I'm going to see when I look at these books. I'm kind of scared now. The Hunger Games. All right. And we've got Letters to the Lost. And a curse so dark and lonely. Shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Well, it doesn't mean you have to burn them all. No, that's the problem! <sighs> okay, so the problem is... I love all three of these equally in their own way. Um... But I really do have to pick. So, I feel like if I had to rewrite anything, oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so if I had to rewrite, I would, as much as this hurts to say, I would probably say The Hunger Games, only because I would want to know more backstory on really what happened to District 13 and why, you know, they destroyed it. And, I mean, we're going to get more backstory once the new book comes out, but it's more or less, I, I kind of want to know why things are the way they are. It doesn't really fully explain what happened on everything. I mean, if it did, I, I missed it. But, you know, it's, I would definitely rewrite certain parts in this. And, oh God, oh my God, oh my God. Well, I don't, this is the problem. I loved both of these equally, so if I reread one of them, which means the other one has to get burned, and I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm not going to physically burn a book anyway, but, you know, see, because this one was one of my favorite reads of, of last year, and this I even reread this one, so... I really hate you right now, Edward. <laughs> as I have a cat nibbling on my wrist. As much as it hurts and it kills me, I've already reread this one, so this one would have to be reread, re and this one will have to be the burn. I really have no reason for it. I mean, I would really just love to reread this because I absolutely love the story. I thought it was really awesome. And I, this is just the last one in the category, so this is just be the burn, and that, 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 that kills. Like, that, no. You guys all know this is my favorite book right now. But yeah, round one. Now moving on to round two. I hate you, Edward. <laughs> okay. Eyes closed. Round two. All right, go second shelf, all the way to the left. All the way to the left. Find Anger. Anger, got him. Alright, the book immediately to his left. Which would be one to the right. One to the right, his left. Yep. Okay. Um, well, let's go. Bottom shelf. Take your point of your finger, go straight ahead. One to the right. Okay. And then. Let's go back up to the second row. One more. All right, slide your hand over the right a little bit. A little bit more. All right, now go straight ahead. Put your hand on top of the pile. Keep going. All right, now, second book down. I already know what that book is. I remember what that one has. All right. All right. He picks Ink Heart. What Alice Forgot. <laughs> Unraveled. <laughs> so, I thought you have a lot of books you like. If I had to pick, let me see. I feel like I would rewrite Unraveled only because I felt like some of the parts of the story was a little flat and that some of the details didn't make sense. And it was just, overall, the story got a little confusing because it was it kept bouncing between one person and you had a hard time figuring out who you were following. And then it just, there was just too many characters to follow along with. And as far as reread... Hmm. She's acting like it's a very tough decision because we know it's going to be Funk all the way. See, that's the thing. It would be, but I've reread this, like, so many times. But then I've only read this once. So... 
I feel like it would be more appropriate, actually, to reread Inkheart because every time I do reread it, I get brought back to just the first time I read it, and it just brings back so many good memories. And I think we'll go with the reason why I would burn what Alice forgot is because there's just so many details in this book that are just, they don't make sense at all. And that's probably why I'd end up burning, burning it. Like it's, so we have the reread, we have the burn, and we have the rewrite. All right. <coughs> Round four, go. I can pick books that you have read that are not on the list. Yes. Books that you know I have read. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to give you ones that I think in order are ones that I know you either reread, rewrite, and then instantly burn. Okay. As far as instantly burn, turn around, second shelf down, go straight ahead and four to the right. One, two, three, four. Yes. So I'm going to say that one is a burn for you. Okay. Um, For a reread. Because you might see it. My eyes are closed. I don't see anything. <laughs> um, for a reread, uh, third shelf down. Go to the right. You're going to almost read Princess Poppy. Nope. You're going. Next stop. Never look right there. Oof. That's heavy. Okay, that one would be your reread. Okay. At least I'm, I'm assuming I have the book right. Okay. Um. Next to the same shelf. Keep going to the right. We go almost all the way over. Keep going. Keep going. All right, now drop a shelf. Keep going to the right. Keep going to the right. Stop. Go in. That book right there. Because I'm pretty sure you read that one. Alright, let's see how well he actually knows what books I've read. Alright, we've got Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. The Exiled Queen by Sarah... Why Sarah? Ah, I got Sarah on the brain! By Cindy Williams Chima. And Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis. Now, you guys know with this one, I have tried reading this on two separate occasions. It is currently on my books I want to read in 2020 list. Right now where it sits, Edward is absolutely right. This is on the freaking burn list. But I'm going to still read it this year because I want to say that I have read it. Even though the concept of it is beautiful... But it's, it's boring you to pieces. It's boring me to fucking pieces, and... Sorry. I underemphasize that just a little bit. I... Oh, book needs to go away. Easy. <laughs> that was a... We got that at the dollar store. Come on. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I, I feel like Edward's right on this one. But... It's hard to pick between the two because he's right on this one. This is definitely a reread. I feel like in the Seven Realms series, this was the best one in the whole entire thing because of just the character development that you see in Raja, and it's just absolutely amazing. She basically turns overnight into a completely new person, a completely different character, and just her character development is just incredible and yeah I, I'm definitely really excited to get back into the Seven Realms series. I didn't want that to happen. So the rewrite and bring me back. What would I rewrite about bring me back? Okay so a little bit of confession about this one. I actually finished this in a whole entire day because I loved it and I just could not stop reading it and I just want, I needed to know what happened. I really don't even know what I would rewrite about this because I guess the main thing that I'd probably rewrite about it is, what was his name? Finn. He just, he was kind of a little bit underdeveloped. He didn't really fully go into everything on the way I wanted it to. And just the lie that he told was just horrendous. And it was just 
huge and it just if he came out with his truth beforehand I feel like it would have been a completely different story so maybe if we had more on what exactly happened and why he Sorry. lied and why he told this ginormous lie that just caused everything to spiral out of control I, I feel like if we had a little bit more of that that might I, I feel like if we had more on why he told the lie then it would make a little bit more sense to me anyway all right last round round five round five eyes closed go Hmm. Is everything on that top shelf you've read, right? I'm gonna open my eyes and look just because I wanna make sure. Look, except for the Stephen King stuff. Honestly, everything on that top shelf I have not read. Hmm, alright. Um. Maybe it's a good thing I've been staying away from that. <laughs> alright. I've at least read The Princess and. The, this one, these two, and then all of those. Yeah, I've read about half of them. Okay. I, I'm gonna get a new sniff in that right now. That doesn't need to be covered in dog, dog, dog rule. Alright, you're kind of blocking on some of the light. Just come towards me for a second. Alright. Second shelf down. Go straight in. Go over to your left four. Yep. At least I'm assuming I have the right one. Uh, go down one shelf. Go straight in. Three to the left. And then for the final one, let's go to the bottom shelf. Uh, move your finger in. in. Right, which book are you on? Two to the right. No, one to the left. You went three to the right. Back up one. Back up one. Yes. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Deep blue. By. by Jennifer Donnelly. We've got The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stain Lar... I can never say his name. Stain Larson? Yeah, him. <laughs> I can never say his name. Alright, well, right now where it sits, I will definitely say Deep Blue is the burn. Just because the book, the first one was pretty good, but the second one... That's the second one. No, this is the first that one. That is the first one. So, yeah, I would say burn on this one only because I feel like it's kind of like the Little Mermaid meets Charmed, but it wasn't done properly, and I feel like there could have been more detail in it. And I tried reading the second one, and I'm still trying to get into the whole entire series, so that would be... Definitely. A Christmas fail for me three years ago. Yeah, it, would, it definitely would be a burn just because it, it's a hard series to get into, and I feel like I'm not in the right mindset for it yet. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, this one's hard. Which one I right Because I love them both so much equally, and they're both perfect their own simple way. Okay. So I feel like my rewrite would be The Red Queen. Only because I feel like the world, and I might get shunned for this, but I feel like the world could be a little bit more developed because you've got the red bloods and you've got the silver bloods, and I feel like we need, I need a little bit more detail on the red blood world and I didn't get quite enough detail on that as much as I wanted so but then when we went, went to the silver blood world it was just kinda just the queen that was in the silver blood world was just a downright bitch and I felt like we could have made her maybe a little bit nicer and not have her be the backstabbing see you next Tuesday that she was so yeah, that's wrong with that. So, I guess that would leave The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo a reread. I've been wanting to reread this for quite a while, so I guess that actually works out. So, I think Edward just put another book on my TBR list. So, 
that's where we are with that. So if you made it this far with my weird quirky husband in the background making all kinds of fun comments, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all my links down below and every book that I mentioned will be also listed down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself if you want to. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see me get through 86 books this year. And I am already four books behind on schedule, but you know what? I'm still going to give it a shot. Even if I get to 50 books, hey, you know what? That's a success for me. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.